in this video we would discuss uh, fish bone diagram which is very important tool in the continuous uh, improvement in the total quality management in the project management uh, this is important tool that uh, is used to identify the root cause of any problem so the project managers use it when they have a problem the total quality management like the quality engineers the quality managers use it when they find the problem in the operations so this is important tool which can be used in any area to identify the root cause of the problem so if you know the root cause of the problem definitely you can eliminate that problem you can resolve that problem okay so here why it is called fishbone diagram because the structure of this diagram is like a fish it, it show the problem for example late for work is a problem and these are primarily factors for that okay so in a machine this may be alarm clock train car coffee machine etc anything in the environment that may be holiday rain fog we would discuss that we would discuss in the examples later on okay so here is uh, uh, i just want to show you that why it is called the fishbone diagram okay so what is fishbone diagram it identifies and organize the potential cause of the business problem uses an easy and understandable format to identify the problem uh, identify the causes of the problem used to identify the source of process variation uh, it can identify the source of process variation uh, and if you find the source of variation then you can eliminate that source you can resolve that source nowadays the quality is defined is the quality is inversely proportional to the variation if you reduce the variation definitely the quality would improve okay so it is called ishikawa diagram in cause and effect diagram ishikawa diagram because it is uh, it was first introduced by ishikawa and uh, it is called cause and effect diagram because this diagram identify the root cause of any problem and it is called the fish bone diagram because the structure of this diagram is like uh, a fish so these are the some of the names of the fish bone diagram ishikawa diagram in cause and effect diagram uh, it identifies the cause of any undesirable effect of a problem undesirable okay even that you uh, never expected but you uh, but uh, this diagram helps to identify the cause of that uh, problem it is also possible to identify the hierarchy of uh, causes including the possible root causes so it identify the cause and until it reach uh, and uh, ultimately it reach to the ultimate uh, to root cause of that problem uh, to to solve that root, root cause of the any problem so definitely all the problem would get solved so brings attention to the primary factor affecting the quality of the product or service uh, these factors need to be optimized in order to reduce the amount of process variation. So what are that factor? We would discuss that factor. The outcome can be provide initial information to later problem solving tools. Fishbone diagram root causes are normally those at the end of chains of the causes. This is the root cause like effect problem. This is the root cause. These are the primary causes. These are the causes in in the this chain this is the sub cause okay so we would have the example later on so you would uh, understand what is the cause sub cause and primary cause they do not have any sub causes so here you can see effect problem does not have any sub causes okay so here uh, you can identify the cause or primary cause through the brainstorming sessions everyone gain insight into cause and effect so not only the top management would should involve in this uh, in this session but uh, uh, machine operator the low level management should also be involved in this session because they have experience and they know better than top management level in the specific uh, in the space on the specific machine this makes the solution easier to find later on uh, Fish bone diagram helps uh, to create idea about the possible cause of a problem before it happens. Okay, fish bone diagram is not only used after the problem, uh, after 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 problem occur, but it can also be used before problem occurrences. Like uh, it is it 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 is like a preventive tool as well. Okay, can be used in a preventive maintenance. 
uh, an effective cause preventation tool okay so helps to identify the potential factor causing an effect to prevent the future problems it can be used to prevent the future problems like in a maintenance preventive maintenance can also be used in a product design and to plan new processes so these are some of the uh, primary uh, factors main method machine measurement maintenance mother nature is also called the environment in management so here the six aims are very common and these are the material main method machine mother uh, nature in measurement so these are some of the common aims okay so the potential cause are sometimes called the process input variables they are not normally grouped into categories for easier sharing in references these are often called the six m's okay so here in the fishbone diagram mean what is mean what would be the main like you have seen in the example above anyone involved with the process and contribute to the effect okay method how the process is performed in the specific requirement for doing it such as policies procedure rules common practices are involved in the methods machines including the equipment and the tools required to do the processes this may be like a computer this may be like a printer a scanner anything is involved in the machines materials the materials needed to be produced the product or provide the service okay these may be raw materials finished bar product materials or wip so raw materials parts papers packing uh, consumables these are all involved in the material anything which contribute in the system would be materials okay uh, environment is also called the mother nature and we have seen this in the in the table in the previous slide the condition in which the process operates such as location time temperature and culture for example we have two machine in the system in one machine is operate in a warm place and the other machine is operate in the cool place so there must be a variability and that variability is due to the mother nature or environment so measurement including the data data are used to evaluate the performance of the process so measurement is very important like uh, if the operator does not know uh, um, the measurement tools procedure etc so there would be um, definitely a variability in the product so this is uh, the manufacturing cause and effect diagram and uh, administration or service uh, cause and effect diagram or fishbone diagram so here in the manufacturing there is a main power or operator that you have seen it's also main okay environment mother nature machines materials are also there measurements and methods but if you are dealing with the service industry or administration then you have the primary factor of people environment equipment and policies and procedures so there would be no materials okay and equipment there would be printer scanner anything that would be involved in the equipment okay so there would be no need for the measurement and uh, materials uh, methods okay so all the thing would cover in the people environment equipment policies and procedures okay in method we have studied that in method the policies and procedure is involved okay so here typical fishbone diagram for manufacturing and non-manufacturing processes are this there okay so how to construct a fish bone diagram first you have to clarify clearly define the effect of the problem okay so if you are making if you are constructing the fish bone diagram is a, for example if for, for a preventive maintenance then you have to define the effect of the problem write it down at the center right of a large piece of paper determine the major categories of the causes so there may be a lot of causes in after that we have to identify the root cause of that specific problem so write them on the branches of the diagram that is like you have to write the sub causes of each cause use the brainstorming 
to log all possible causes under the appropriate branches okay so here you need the operators you need the top level management low level management in all involved in the system to uh, to participate in this brainstorming sessions to identify the causes okay so uh, in the total quality management what is the meaning of total total mean that all should to be involved in this system use the five w or five ways to search for root causes then add them to the diagram so what is 5w of 5 ys so 5 ys is like to identify the root cause this is the another tool in the total quality management that is used to identify the root cause of any specific problem like to ask a question five times if a problem occur for example if a problem occur is like the products are producing defective you should ask from the operator that why the products are defective okay he must answer that the machine is not working properly then you would ask why again why the machine is not working properly so they he must answer, he may be uh, answer that the machine is not working properly because there was no preventive maintenance so you can ask why not preventive maintenance maintenance so you after asking five questions you would reach to the root cause so this is like the plus p of the total quality management how to construct a fishbone diagram the next step is to take time to ensure the appropriateness uh, appropriateness of the recorded information update the chart is new causes become apparent so you must have the uh, you must have the chart on the paper or in the microsoft excel so you can easily update it okay if the new causes you think that the new causes may be here okay so mark or assign number nears to the key cause to show their relative priority collect data and investigate to verify the key cause or actual okay you have to collect the data and then investigate to verify the causes or actual plan and implement actions to address the key causes so ways to find more causes so how you can identify the causes okay so um, in a brainstorming session this is in the brainstorming session uh, sessions you can how you can identify the causes keep asking question to encourage everyone to participate involve other people especially those who have experience in the process from the operator that is running the machines every day so he must know he may be no better than you better than from the top management in that specific area leave the chart on the wall for a few days and encourage passers by to contribute so they may they may write anything on that paper or cause anything on that paper so you may have a better result take a break or do something to take the time mind of the current thoughts so this is the template this is the example of the fishbone diagram the increase in voice error for a company what is the problem the problem is in voice fault so the uh, primarily the prime the primary uh, factors are environment equipment method main measure in material so what is involved in the environment that is poor ergonomics okay noisy office so if you think that this is the cause so you can definitely you can uh, you can solve this problem okay what is involved in the measurement poor audit system okay inadequate validation process so these are involved in the measure what is involved in the main low morale increased workload poor technical support okay so these are the causes and these are the primary factors with each factors there are some of the causes and they did not mention the sub causes of for example in a poor ergonomics there may be some of the sub causes okay for example why poor ergonomics why noisy because you don't have the educated uh, or you don't have the educated uh, stuff so maybe this may be the factor 
so the you can reach to the sub cause and root cause okay of invoice fault problem okay so this is you can see here in understandable format you can see a lot of causes factors you can identify identify it okay this is the another one example of the fishbone diagram which is the high coolant consumption is the uh, high coolant consumption is the problem okay high cooling is consumed so why in environment evaporation in a hot seasons so definitely this must be a cause of this problem because high cooling consumption okay uh, in the causes may be evaporation in a hot seasons okay in a machine it may be machine leakage if the machine leakage is a problem you can uh, you can work on this machine okay this like uh, this may be machine breakdown blocked horses okay so you this is the this is how you can work on a fishbone diagram further information on the fishbone diagram that is the different names may be used for the same categories procedures could be used instead of methods equipment could be used instead of machines and you may have even create your own branches that suit your needs it does not mean that you uh, must have the environment machine method main mayor and material you can also include another that you think that that is uh, that is your need that is your need of your system okay so it depend on your system okay so an affinity diagram could be used to decree to uh, to create the branches of the diagram from the title of the affinity sets don't overload the categories then establish another category if needed if you overload the category then definitely you won't see uh, you won't see a text you won't see a cause of the problem okay so you could also create a sub category under the main category or sub causes under the main cause for example under the main there might be poor communication absenteeism lack of training but you should however avoid writing a real name of person okay so this is all about the fishbone diagram and i hope you learn something from this if you do make sure to subscribe to this channel thank you for watching